guys, today I'm here at the opening of the Oatmeal Bakery in Pinelands and I'm pretty much, actually very much excited. I heard they have some of the best bread and cake in Cape Town, so I'm gonna see how this goes. The wind's a bit going crazy here, almost lost my hat. So you see? Cool, I'm really excited. Let's see what's going on inside. I ordered the bacon and cheeseburger and it looks pretty amazing. How are your salads, Zilla? <laughs> what salad did you get? Salmon and it's awesome. Really good, eh? <laughs> I actually really like the idea that they give you the option of potato wedges or sweet potato wedges, where most places only give you a option between chips and a salad, which I think is pretty cool. Check these onion rings though. I'm here now in the store part of the cafe, as you can say. As you can see here, the bread. They are quite famous for the bread. Some apparently the best bread in Cape Town. I'm definitely gonna take some home back to Stellenbosch. And as you can see, it's almost sold out. It's crazy. Check it out. Doing some selfies, some bad camera work here. Look at the products. Pretty cool, eh? at the new oatmeal bakery in finance first of all congratulations on your new store thank you so much <laughs> it's really awesome that you guys are here today thank you for that. Uh, yeah I'm actually quite excited taste some of the food already it's so good um, what number store is this this store is number nine already um, we actually oatmeal started as a uh, it's not a franchise it's owner run so this is number nine now and we're super super excited about it and where did it all start <laughs> Oatmeal actually started as a tiny takeaway pie shop in a Fersona Inn. That was our first store. Um, the gentleman who opened up Oatmeal, he began with a little takeaway pie shop and he's now building an empire that started all from a takeaway pie shop. So he is now um, on his ninth store of Oatmeal. He's also the owner and the founder, one of the founders of the Bootlegger Coffee Company. Um, that started after Oatmeal and there are now 15 Bootlegger Coffee uh, restaurants already. So you can imagine how excited we are that our empire is just growing so rapidly. <laughs> that is pretty exciting. Um, what, are you, what's, what can I say? What's your claim to fame? Oh, Oatmeal's claim to fame is our pies. Really? Obviously, we started as a takeaway pie shop, so you know that is definitely our claim to fame. Our pies are amazing. Not only do they taste fantastic, they are also just such a wide variety. Everything from a steak pie and a chicken pie to baburti pies, venison pies, bacon and kidney pies, Finnish and fe you know, there's so many. Um, so yeah, I'd pretty much say that that is our claim to fame. Well, I do love my pie, so I'll definitely be happy having some of that. Um, it's quite full today. What brings the people in? What brings them back? Like, what, what is, <laughs> is the pies? Or? Yeah, the pies is a part of it. <laughs> um, we are super overwhelmed with how amazing this Pinelands community has been on our opening day and we're this busy. It's absolutely fantastic. But to be honest with you, and I know that anybody can say this about every single owner, the reason you come back is our service. We tend to focus our absolute best on getting the friendliest, happiest, you know, most wonderful staff members that we possibly can 
including myself, obviously. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, you come back for the service, you come back for the environment, you come back for your experience. Not only is our food fantastic, your experience when you come and sit down here is wonderful. Our point is to make our customers feel like kings and queens, and, and that is all we want to do. And I think that we're going to get there here. <laughs> awesome. Then I'm doing something right. <laughs> yes. Um, so, what makes the Pinelands store special, extra special? Because I saw something in the back, it's like a little prison door, I'm not sure. There's a couple of things that makes our Pineland store a little bit special. Um, if I start with actual oatmeal itself, this Pineland store is going to be the first oatmeal that is going to run a dinner menu. Um, we are not going to be running dinner until the 1st of December and from then onwards we'll have a dinner menu running. So we've still got a lot of training to learn. I mean I've been with the Oatmeal Group for almost two years myself now and this is a learning experience for myself. So we're really really excited to run dinner. But what makes this store specifically absolutely awesome is this is the old Pinelands police station. So all the little cells and everything that you see back there have now been created into tiny little shops. So yes, there's the oatmeal, which is absolutely awesome and wonderful, but there's also a whole little community going on here. We've got a little chocolatier that's opening up, an antique store. There's actually going to be another coffee shop opening up as well. And in our courtyard, we've got tiny little cells, which I don't think they were the holding cells, I think they were actual prison cells. We're making those into bathrooms. <laughs> so that's also really cool. So we just want to keep as much authenticity as we can yeah. of the community and the fact that this was a police station. So we're going to use the space we've got. It's amazing. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Actually, I can't wait to come back and I think you should too. I'll definitely be posting the location. People who are like me who get lost. So yeah, thank you so much, Lisa. No worries. Anytime. Well, there you have it, guys. I had a pretty amazing time here at Oatmeal Bakery in Pinelands and go follow them on social media, they are at Oatmeal Bakery, yeah, Oatmeal Bakery. <laughs> and also please, if you like this video, please comment, give a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>